Hey guys, welcome to our Sometimes Thursday Live. I'm actually gonna text Caitlin right now because I told her I'd text her when we went live. Um, but <laughs> we are super excited to be here because we are showing you new items in the shop, items that are on sale. As always, Zeb has a new pair of shoes marked down. Oh, yeah. Um, we have some clothing marked down and we're gonna show you some display ideas, things that we're, where we're gonna put this stuff. Um, last week, most of our painted stuff sold. We only have a few things that we finished that have not sold yet. Um, and if you guys watched our video on Monday with a new IOD, a lot of those items actually won't be for sale until this Saturday, just because they're from the next week's haul, if that makes sense. But anyways, why don't you show me your shoes and I'll text Caitlin. Okay, so this is kind of a twofer. It's the same style shoe, but we've got two, two different colors. On the website, I believe these are called the Peep Toe Castle. I don't know, I'd have to look at the actual listing. Do you want me to look them up? If you look up peep toe, it'll it'll bring it peep up and show toe you. Peep toe fringe boots. I don't know why I'm taking all this stuff. They are the really good shoes. They are actually leather, if I recall uh, correctly. Actually, no. Maybe oh, man-made material. Man -made They're material. vegan leather. Um, <laughs> and they have like a little zipper on this side that's just for looksies, but then there's a zipper yes. on the inside. Debbie actually loves these This boots. morning, I was trying to get this up and down, and that's part of the look. I'm like, this zipper's broke on this brand new shoe. Fun fact, yeah. there's a zipper inside that works really well. So we've marked them down to $18.95 with shipping, and Zeb has updated the um, quantities. So if you go to the sale collection, which I'm gonna drop in comments right now, you can find all of the items that we have for sale um, in that collection. I've triple checked it this week. We've been having an issue with the website. The app has been like, like you go to add something and sometimes it'll add two instead of one and sometimes it'll take out one instead of taking out two so i've, I've triple checked it this morning jamie checked it quantity should be right order with confidence and we will share later today um every week we pick out two people that have shared what a, a video a reel it doesn't matter and we send them free stuff so if you are on facebook and you feel like possibly getting free stuff and being entered into that thank you giveaway, um, hit that share button for sure. And watch later, we'll tag the two people that um, win for this week. So these are the taupe color. Yes, they come in two colors. I actually have them in both. We're trying to, there's nothing wrong with the shoes. We're actually just trying to clear shoes out so that way we can make room for new inventory clothes wise also, and i think i'm gonna probably carry less shoes i or was gonna you... say jamie got like probably 20 different styles of shoes yeah and we still have odds and ends like onesie twosies of some of those well i went a little <laughs> shoe crazy a few years ago i think what we're probably gonna do is carry like more high-end shoes and so i'm clearing everything out and we're also like slowly clearing out like older clothing and stuff just because I want to have less stuff, but like my favorite stuff, if that makes sense. But you guys get a good deal. Um, I just dropped the link to the sale collection, Lori. Let me try it one more time. You, I just dropped the whole collection instead of individual items. And if you just scroll through it, you'll find everything that we have marked down. If you guys remember this cutting board from last week's thrift haul, um, it had something glued on the back here. By the time we picked it up at the thrift store, all that was left on here was the glue. So I sanded that off. We gave it a uh, kind of a white wash. That's not a wax, it's a white wash with paint. And then stamped it with ink and one of the new IOD stamps. I can't remember which this That's stamp's That's from called. the champagne or whatever. Cam it's campaign, there's no H. However How you pronounce however it. However you pronounce that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's with a new IOD. I just dropped the link to the thrift haul collection because we're going to show, we'll come back to the sale stuff. That's kind of bouncing around here. Um, but we'll show just the I items did. that are for still it available. in front of me and I was holding it. It's okay. All right, so that's from the thrift haul. We'll get more thrift haul stuff that's left. Jamie's going to no, show we're, you. No, we're, I just dropped the thrift haul links. So. Oh. oh, we're he, ready. We're ready now. Off. We're ready now. <laughs> okay, these were those wood plates that we were gonna save to find domes, but we may never find domes. So if you have a dome and you wanna try that out, or if you just like the plate, this is the paint inlay. All these elements are from the same They're from Milan. inlay, and we we love it. It's I sealed them up, and I did paint the backside if you watched yesterday's Waste on Wednesday. Um, and they're super cute. I think you could hang them up on the wall. Actually, that's what I would do. Like, you could buy all three. They're $12.95 each. I did seal them. 
um, with a liquid top coat. They are not for eating, home decor only. Yeah, and the big deal about these is this is not a transfer that's just stuck on. This is paint that's embedded in paint. Paint in paint. Anyways, three of these are still available. And then we have the urn. If you remember yesterday, we fixed the bottom here. Somebody else had repaired it with hot glue. We used construction adhesive. This one is $16.95, and it's got French millinery and crinoline, and then I sealed it with a satin, the final finishes top coat would be perfect. And it is watertight inside, now that I have repaired it. Um, so Did you, you try could, it out? Did you test it? No. So I should say not <laughs> test it. But anyways, it would be cute with fresh flowers. I mean, worst case scenario, you could put some glue on the inside, but like I'm 99% sure it is because it's all sealed up. All right. But we'll if it's super it. cute with flowers in it, anyways, it's done. It was um, terracotta. If it's not, if you get it and it's leaking, just put a little daisy cup in the bottom. All right, next we've got these. These were wildly popular yesterday. Yes, so I was like, oh, do I paint them pink? Do I not? And I did this little reel on what we had finished yesterday because I wanted you guys, if you haven't seen it, check out our reels or if you watch on YouTube our shorts, I did a video of all the things finished and I asked people what their favorite was and so many people said the pink candlesticks. So I think it goes to show that there's not enough pink candlesticks in the world because everybody wants them. So these are petticoat pink. If you are a reseller, I suggest painting some candlesticks in this color because everybody commented how much they like these. Um, and well, I'm not surprised because I do think they're cute. I just didn't know how many people would really love pink candlesticks. Well, and we're past Valentine's Day, right? But they're very spring, this color. Very, I mean, you can mix like yellows and pink pastels for Easter too. And, you know, if you just have like a little girl's room or something. Some or people, if you just like you pink. Do, I'm like, you do realize some people just like pink. I was going to say, I did say. Yeah, I think though too, like sometimes part of a reseller is knowing where there's a gap in the market. Mm -hmm. And when I go to most home decor stores, I'm not seeing pink candlesticks. Apparently there's a gap in the market. So $39.95 for this set of three candlesticks. They are painted and clear waxed. And then I just did a wet distress. So I'm thinking these will be cute in the shop until they sell. And that is it. Those I are the only I items doubt they'll make it past from last video. week's thrift haul that we painted that have not sold yet. And we had a long list of items to paint. So I think yep. that's pretty good. All right, we'll move along to just new items in the shop and then we'll finish with a couple more sale items. You wanna do that? Yes. Okay. So, little cheese spoons. Are these the handmade ones by yes, that one guy? Yes, by Boyd. He was 89 a few years ago, so he's probably into his 90s. And he's a woodworker and he makes these hardwood um, butter spreaders. That's what they are. I actually bought 10 last week and we only have five left and I hadn't even shown them yet. They've sold in the shop and I think we sold a couple You could use these online. almost as cheese knives too, except that they're not sharpened. You know, if you've got, if, you, if you're handy and you feel like start sharpening these up, it could be easily done. They could be little cheese knives as well for like your soft cheeses. But they're all different shape sizes. It's luck of the draw when you, when you get one. They're in the home decor collection. I know Caitlin's on here, um, so she'll drop the link to these butter spreaders in a minute. They're $7.95 each, and they are handmade, and we only have five left. If they sell, I'll see if I can order some more. All right, in the wood collection, moving along. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about these. We I put them up yesterday. We already had an order for five of them. These are antique spools. They would have had thread on them. A lot of people like to take them and do vintage lace on them and just do like a display of them in a jar. That's really pretty. Or you could use them for your thread or just as is if you just like like the These are not honey value. dippers. <laughs> They're industrial. They have they been- They are industrial They spools. are used and have been in an industrial application for many years before they ever came to us. I found a vendor that sold me 75 of them. I had to buy them in bulk, um, but I got a really good deal. So they're $4.95 each. They're all slightly different. Oh, I like these ones with the red on them. Yeah, they're all slightly different. If you wanted to, you could take some paint and just paint the edge or just regular paint and then like dark wax it and then you could add colors to the tops. But yeah, a lot of people I've seen, um, Gosh. Look, it's a bouquet of spools. Julie from Julie Science and Designs. She likes to put antique lace around these. I think I've seen Bree do that. I'm just going to sell them as is for $4.95, and then you guys can decide how you want to display them. Yeah, I, I like fun. that. That's good for me. I'm done. And if you're a crafter, it would be a great way if you have lots of loose odds and end lace to organize them. And we do have 70 still available. 
So the way I like to display this type of stuff in the store is all together. These cute little um, trays, let's see, I don't know what the tag is. We sell these as well, but I like to do them like this because if you just have a few, it doesn't look as great as if there's a lot. People love to dig through um, little bins of small things. So all throughout the store we have we have one of these full of little chairs and anytime I can find multiples of little antique items like this, I love to put them together because people like to pick through them and get just the right one. So if you're a vendor, definitely um, look into smalls like this because they're fun. When I, we went to Paris, remember they had that one store that the oh, entire was, store was, just was spools. smalls, little small It was things. like spools and like wooden, old wooden knobs and all kinds of hardware type stuff like that. I loved it. And they had it color coordinated in there. It was like eye candy. So William Bell's on here. He is a, a local upcycler and friend of mine. He does lots of fun stuff. He said, I mounted some of those spools in wood and used them for small candles. Oh, nice. Yeah, like little candles inside here. That would be really You know, cute. they'd or, also make like a good hook for, for like a coat rack. It's like you're in my brain. Like I was going to say, chop them off and you could use both ends and do like a peg rack. Mm-hmm. Because you you've it. seen them with rolling pins. Yeah. And I think these are actually better because they're like the right um, circumference. Yeah, you just have to, I would just dowel these in to like the wood. Tony, if you want three spools, Caitlin, put the link, if you just scroll back a little bit, or if you just go to jamierayvintage.com, you can check out there. We put everything on the website instead of doing it through comments, just so it's like fair and easy and we get, it's very organized because we have a whole shipping staff. Okay, let's go back to sale items. Sale items. And then we'll put these in the shop. We only have, them, yeah, and, and I think that'll be it and that'll for be today. It. So we'll do a little visual display and call it good. All right, so next up, I actually have had these for a darn hot minute. <laughs> We've moved them twice now. I, I got a good deal from one of my wholesalers that does a lot of my antique stuff. These are all handmade. So they're terracotta and glazed. Yeah, and I was going to do our kitchen soap in them, but they weren't quite deep enough. And so then I didn't know what I wanted to do in them. They are big enough. We'll show you when we do the visual display where they're going. They're, um, they're all kind of different sizes. Of soap. Oh, let me go grab one and show. Well, we can take them over there in a minute. Okay. Um, and these are, let's see, I just listed them. I know I marked them like super cheap. I just don't want to get them wrong. They're in the sale collection. I, I want to say $2.95. Um, one already sold. Yes, $2.95 compare at $6.95. Honestly, because they're handmade, I feel like we put, probably even asked like $12.95. But I um, maybe have 100 of them. So I'm going to sell them <laughs> for $2.95. So if you need to give somebody a gift or you just need a really great soap dish, we've got them. I only put 50 in stock because I want to go through all of them and just make sure that none are broken. So we'll update the quantity on these once And we actually have. count them. Yeah. Because I think some, have you, have you sold any or is this the first time they've been listed? No, I've never listed them and I've had oh. them for two years. I might be a hoarder. Shh, don't tell anybody. Well, I'm starting to have a problem with leftover like tools and scrap supplies and stuff. Oh. So I'm, we're, we're I'm a hoarder ready, marriage. I'm ready to do, just gut the garage, take it all and donate it, and then just walk away and start fresh. Because I'm like, this. some of this stuff I haven't been to in a year. A lot of it's time constraints. Some of it's just me being like, oh, I'll have a use for that later. And a lot of times I do. We use a lot of scraps, but... I feel like we could have a barn sale in the spring, though, oh. like when it warms up. Oh, yeah. I'll pull the tractor out. We'll For my local it. peeps, we'll pull the tractor out. We'll just put it all under the tree. It's a busy street. So, yeah, I feel like that's always a good idea. Just a big, like, yard sale slash barn yeah. sale. Okay. Come see what's right. in the barn. That could be fun. Just double checking, make sure there's no questions. All right, and Caitlin's still on here. And she dropped the link to the spools, and then she'll be dropping the link to these. Or you could just go to the sale collection. It's all there. All right, next up. So I'm on the hunt for the perfect overalls. Because if you guys don't know it, I'm a part-time farm girl when the weather is warm enough. Although these have holes in the knees, like pre-holes. Ventilation. Also, I guess you could just cut them off for the, like the summertime <laughs> if they get too, like the holes get too aerated. No, I like when I'm squatting down in the garden, I like an open knee. Huh? So that way I, I've got flex in my pants. I don't want them tight. And it, ventilation. So that way you hot. get that good dark wax look on your knees. Yeah, the crusty dark wax <laughs> look. It's totally a thing. Anyways, um, I ordered these overalls and 
They're they very came. cool. They're a good They're wash. They're so cute. Odelia was like, Mom, those are cute. They're the new, like, They're they huge. Stove pipe flare. I don't know. Yeah, they're I huge I would call legs. them wide leg. They have the, the distressed knees. And I put them on and I got the large. They only come in small, medium, large. And they fit, except for they were a little snug across my I had five babies mom belly. And so I was like, fine, I'm going to ship these overalls back because um, the retail price is $80. And if I'm going to sell a pair of overalls for $80, they have to be the perfect overalls. And so I went on the manufacturer's website to print out the shipping label to ship them back. And they offered me a deal if I would keep them. So there's nothing wrong with them except for you need to size up. So like if they were an XL, they would have totally fit me, right? But they only come in small, medium, and large. So they are $19.95 with shipping. And we have one small, two mediums, and two larges, because I pulled out one large for Odelia, and they're $19.95. Just know that you need to size up, or if you have a teenager, I would say they're junior sizes. They just weren't made for my mom slash thyroid pooch. And ain't nobody wanting <laughs> overalls that are tight across the beach. That's the whole point of overalls. Yeah, the whole point is that you got lots of flex and you can show up to a buffet and just eat what you want. So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect overalls, but I marked these down to $19.95 with shipping because I was like, eh, rather than pay to ship them back, if they're going to offer me a discount, then I can pass that on to my friends. So there you go. There's the overall story, and just pay attention to further overalls being <laughs> purchased and tried out there by me. There will be various ones. Overalls are I'm popular. I'm not going to give up. Both of our girls wear, like, these big old huge, I, I call them, uh, the, the kids call them mom jeans, but they're wearing them. Yeah, and so they're, no, they're cool jeans then. So now they're just, like, everyone's jeans. I don't know why they got dubbed mom jeans, but. And once these are gone, they're gone. Like, I'm not going to be able to get more at a discount, but I just thought, oh, Pass them on to my friends. Okay, so we've let's shown go all put the some stuff. stuff. Let's do some display. You want to do some yep. display with let's me? Let's start over with the soap, I think. And okay, then we'll come I will grab the get, soap we'll dishes. We'll come back and get some more. It's always fun because I have to show after the live uh, Maria and Larissa where everything is. Like, oh, by the way, this uh, isn't all tagged yet, but this is where it's at. You guys are amazing. Come fix our mess. <laughs> okay, here's our soap display. Okay. Now, the question is, do we want to just put them like I think if you just set them down on the side, and down. Put some over here, too. Yeah, put some maybe over here with these, with like, kind of like your, these are like toiletries, and we've got. I'm going to move the lavender The lotion oil. bars. If you've never used a lotion bar, they're awesome. I didn't know we had them in these black um, cans. I like the black can. Yeah, that's cute. I need to get one of these horse. Uh, soaps and send it to my sister because she has horses. Look how cute this is. Your little almond horse. Let's see, this is French lavender essential oil. Essential oil. Hold on, sorry guys. So you're moving that out and I'm gonna put some of those out, in and there. Then I'm gonna move I'm gonna do one of my holes in my soap display. I have So we need some more down here or some more napkins. What are these napkins? I'm gonna put this up. Will it stay up? Does it need something behind it? I want you to stay up. It's, it's curved on the bottom. It's not ever going to stand up unless you put it in. Stop it. I give up. All right, these are going in here. So these are going to go right there. Oh, they, they're big. Yeah, just a couple because you don't want them sliding out. But right. let's see a bar of soap on them. Okay, I'm going to do that, but wait a second. Do I have any more? open so these are all the french soaps soap holes soap holes is that a yeah that a, down here you had a big one right there okay. that's like a really loud obnoxious sound sorry guys that is loud there we go so the soap fits nicely on there and then we've got some here and some there i think that's cute well when did we get these ones with the horse have we always had these i just we needed to get some for my sister because she loves horses. The almond horseshoe soap, six ninety five. Now the question remains, where do we put all this cute little... Water? I didn't even... When did you get that? Like, I've never seen that before. It's probably um, been there for months and I've never noticed. Like a minute. I don't know. Oh, you know what we can do? We can put this over here. Consolidate. And then we can put the lavender up here. 
every now and then if you've got a shop when stuff sells out or stuff gets moved because customer picks it up and then they set it back down and it's in the wrong spot which is fine that's why we're here exactly um, i'm just gonna put this here but you gotta come and rearrange every now and then yeah and then i will come back later because i don't think you guys want to watch me do that but Label, i'll make sure they're all out. in the same direction labels out <laughs> so this is a, it's such a cute little label maybe i need to put something in there to raise it. anyways all right you guys get the point We've got the soap dishes on display. What do we need to display next? What else we got? Did you, you didn't put any over here with the soap in it? We still What's haven't showed them how the soap fits. Oh, I'm I curious. I want to make sure that it fits in there. There we go. <laughs> Is that good? I've oh, got this. Perfect. We've got one of these left. The other one sold small silver platter. With your soap samples. Yep. And then look, there we go. Ta-da. Okay, I like it. Cutesy. Cutesy, cutesy. Easy to find. Still need to fix the the lavender but that's fine you know it was 15 degrees last night i woke up with a panic attack thinking i had left the water on and it was going to freeze all my pipes outside and came over here at four in the morning <laughs> and made sure the water was off and it was was not all over the place but you know you get that in the back of your mind like did i remember to turn the water off has that just been flooding all afternoon since i milked the cow so I ran over here real quick and it was 15 degrees and I was not dressed appropriately. <laughs> and what's the story of that? It's spring. Oh, I'm like... Spring decor is in the shop and it's 15 degrees outside. <laughs> Got it. All right. So last week or the week before, we had a ton of these frog lids that you put on a wide uh, mason jar for flowers. I was just wondering, sorry, I was like, where are you going with the story? And it was, we only have three left. So I will find a smaller way to display these because this is like half empty, so that looks weird. This is sold down quite a bit too. Like we probably need to yeah, come in and redo, redo this. That. Someone almost bought that table. It is for sale. It's project piece. It's missing a couple pieces. So but. I'm gonna swap out the display that had those froglets for the antique spools. We'll put those over here. I'll put my little butter spreaders by it. Oh, also, remember the Ikea plant I got for 75 cents? It was legit for this bucket. Because this bucket hasn't sold, but I think the only reason it hasn't sold is because people can't see how cute it is. It needed something in it. Actually, maybe, you said we need to refill this. Maybe we'll do. Yeah, because that was looking real full over there. Oh, we have three of those buckets. There we go. I just need to find... I just need to find some more plants, but I think this will at least give people the idea of what's going on. I feel like these baskets are kind of in the middle of the aisle. Should we move them over Those underneath? Baskets. Oh yeah, I don't think. Let's just move them. Are they the ones I that people that shop with? I think that somebody just put them there. No, these are the shopping baskets over here. These are the for sale baskets. There we go. That's better. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, I needed to do something with this. I can just put all the butterflies here. I'll just put these on display right here. Here we go. Done. All right. Okay, so the only thing to display, where should I put my pink candlesticks? The pink candlesticks is going to be the trick. I almost want to say you should put them with the rest of your pink display. Okay. But you might have to okay, shuffle well, up. I'm redoing this whole display here. Yeah, we're gonna. It's so. What about right there next to that um, jug, that wood jug? Up top. Uh -huh. Let's go look and see. Okay. It could also be good on this pink vanity. Well, I think it's good to have pink over here, but I don't want to do pink on pink on pink. The vanity is a little softer. I think that's good. We needed a little color here. All right, let's step back and look. Let me see if people are commenting. Okay. Oh, and your your Renee Barbie is still over there. So the soap display Zebden built, it's an antique uh, display that I bought from a friend. She went out of business locally and I purchased that. I don't know her. that she so much went out of business as she got out of business. Okay, I should say she got out of business. <laughs> she had a, a health issue and no longer stayed open. All right, I'm just making sure there's no more questions about stuff. All right, we need to figure out, I'll, I'm trying not to make people sick. So let's... What do you mean by like flying them around everywhere? Yeah. 
let's try to put the rest of the stuff kind of on display here. I think this actually would look good here because we've got... With your mar Are those marmalade jars or crocs? Yeah, they're the marmalade crocs. I'll we've spin you guys this, around in just a second. We've got this purple floral right here, so this French millinery looks good. And then I'll later, when we're not live, I'll find... We have some greenery I think I can put in there. What do you think? Yeah. It's a nice balance to some. this candlestick over here. Um, and then... Where do we want to put these? Do we want to put them on display over here? Or do we want... Maybe. I just want to, like... You don't want it to be too crazy. We could put them back there in front of those yellow flowers. There's a little spot on that table over there. Well, let me see. I like that. That there. They're not a set, are they? No, they're sold individually. So we don't have So we to could spread them spot. around the shop? We can absolutely spread them around the shop. Okay, so we're going to put another one. My giraffe is getting in the way. We'll put these green ones here, maybe something will buy them. If these green ones don't sell soon, they're going to get a repaint. People say paint stuff bright colors, but then they don't buy it. So Funny. Where are my salty kiss paint candlestick lovers? Well, yeah, funny, funny how that works. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see if I can fit. One more. Okay. They're still in close proximity. It's a pain when you spread it all over because then when they sell online, you can't find them. This is too much here, though. Yeah, that's it's pretty they're, big. They're gonna go back over here. They're gonna go back over there. That's where they were there for a while. <laughs> Woo! Sorry about that. Careful all right, with the pears. I think. Do you want to give people a little, uh, little pan? pan. We added a few things since the last time people were here. We sell these really cute um, carrots. And we've got our bunny display. This is for a, painted from a few weeks ago. It's $22.95 for this greenery and urn. And then this is the much debated chair. People have a lot of solid opinions about this chair. I think it showed up darker in the video than it actually is. Yeah, for sure. And it's-, it's Like over here against your white wall, it looks amazing. Somebody said it would be good for Halloween because it was so dark. I'm like, it is not dark. Like Does this it look chair dark on camera right now? I don't know. I'm gonna flip it around to the in-store price so that way people don't think it's $469 if I have to ship it, but it's $149 in the and I looked these up. A set of six sells for over three thousand dollars. And they're not Jamie Raid. Right. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> you want to show them the chickens? Do you think they can see out there? Oh, that's pretty screen? bright in the windows reflection. We just put the chickens. They'll get to see the chickens this afternoon when I do the coop. Those chickens have been doing work. Yeah, they're really plowing through all of the uh, garden we didn't clean up. Yeah, we didn't fix the garden last year. We just left it up, and the chickens have almost completely decimated it and flattened it. So, like, pro tip, if you have a garden you don't feel like dealing with, just throw your chickens in the garden, and they'll fertilize it and eat the food. Yeah, well, that won't be a garden again for a long time. So. Yeah, we're moving the garden to the back, so we move the chickens to the side. All, all right. right, I think that's all the things today. Yep, that's it. Um, thanks for joining us, helping us figure out where to put stuff in the shop. That's always fun. Sale items. If you want to shop, it's jamierayvintage.com. Um, anything else we need to tell? Um, if I get around to it, there is a cheer showcase tonight. Uh, I'm oh. going to try to edit the homestead video of the chicken coop and get that up. And then you can see the chickens and where they're at. All right, so if you guys um, follow Jamie and Zeb, which is our homestead channel, hopefully we'll get a video up later today. And I also promise to film Zeb at the cheer showcase because he's going to be in the dad jump off mm -hmm. doing his toe touches. Well, Odelia told me I had to shimmy and rally, so I'm working on my shimmy. I will get that up, um, so definitely uh, check that out later. If you like this video, be sure to share it out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and follow Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and shop tours. Thanks, guys.